What's up? What's up, guys? And welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris Keys, and this is absolutely the best place for music creators, music producers, and entrepreneurs. Today, I want to take a little bit of time and talk about sampling, samplers, or just samplers that we use. Um, what's the best sampler out there? You know, what are you guys enjoying when you're using? your DAW to sampler. Now, I'm not talking about an MPC or using a machine or any type of keyboard. I'm strictly talking about plugins that we can use in our DAW uh, to sample. You know, what are you guys using in Logic? I, Me particularly, I don't have a favorite uh, sampler. Uh, and the reason why is I, f I feel like different samplers are going to give you uh, a different sound. So depending on the choice of the sample I use or, you know, the sound, I, the particular sound I have in my head or something like that, that's going to dictate which sound I use. And also, you know, I'm a little biased. I'm a, I'm a keyboard. I'm a pianist. So I tend to try to create my own samples uh, on my own as well. But with that being said, I think that each sampler, once again, uh, they're going to give you a different tone, uh, different type of effects and I'll go over some of my top choices that I use and there's several several out there uh, but I'm going to give uh, give you one that everybody if you use Logic uh, whether you have the new one or the old one I know they have a new update on the 10.5 I believe it is I don't know what they're on now but I know there's a different sampler but the EX24 this has been like one of my go-to and actually one of my favorites for a long time just because of the uh, simplicity of it uh, it is a it is pretty user friendly friendly. Uh, I, I'll show you now. I will say there's a little cur curve to editing. It's not the easiest uh, when loading in a sampler, but I'll go ahead and uh, I'll load in uh, something like let's say let's just load in uh, 808 here. So I like I like it because uh, once again it's easy to load. Uh, you just drag and drop. You know, you have to press your edit button. So that is an extra step. Uh, one of the uh, one of the cons or another pro first. Let's do the pros first. So uh, easy to load. Not too difficult. That's a pro. Uh, I do like the filter section that it has right in here. You just have to turn this on. And you can see it's a pretty good filter that you can do. You know, if you had uh, different samples, you can play with the uh, resonance. I do like also the tune options right here. Uh, you can press the glide and that'll give you that, that sound right there. Uh, you can adjust the pitch and now adjust the sound of the glide. You know, if you want to glide from the top or if you want to glide from the bottom, you know, slide up uh, and you can you can dictate how much of that. So, I mean, it's a lot of cool things uh, on here. Pretty simpler, Sim simple. And like I said, uh, you know, it's not too, too much. Um, but if you want to get straight to it, um, the EX24 is pretty, pretty cool and easy. And I've used this on several, several records. Now, one of the cons is, is you can't just go in and use it without, you have to like almost save it every time. Because if I want to close this, close this out once I uh, import my sample you see I have to save it and and go through uh, you know the saving process create a folder or something you know all of that so you know I, I personally don't enjoy having to do that especially if I have a quick idea and maybe I don't like the sample layer so you know I've just got all these folders of samples saved because if you don't save it you won't be able to bring it back up uh, later and once again this has been around for a while so I think the EX24 is you know like I said they have the new one but this one is particularly a little outdated uh, and also you know you can't really once you import your sample you know you can't go in and, and edit uh, your sample too much so I'll pull in just say like another sample a uh, different sample here <laughs> Uh, let me see. You know, I can't go in and sample or edit that sample. Uh, I'll have to basically go in. Let me just do it this way real quick so I can show you guys. Let me pull in this vocal. 
I'll have to go in and actually, uh, don't save. See, there's so many steps to use the EX24. It does work, but it's a few steps. Feels right when it's wrong. So I have to go in. I hope that's not too loud. And actually go in and try. Feels right when it's wrong. I've stayed here too long. But something brings me back to you. You know, go in and sample and, and then go back to my EX24. Uh, pull this up. Go in and actually drag. Excuse me. Highlight, you know, the samples that I want and drag. You know, it's a few steps. To Feels right when it's wrong. It's a few steps to do all of that, you know, and you can go over here uh, in your edit, and if it's one shot, you could just turn that off so it won't play. Feels right. Feels right. Feels right when. Feels right. Feels right. You can see it. Feels right. Feels right. You can see right there. Uh, you know, so, I mean, I'm not going to go too deep in all of these features. I'm not going to go into all these features, but, uh, you know, the EX24, it is a pretty cool uh, sampler that you can use. Let's move on to the next one, uh, and that is Contact. Uh, this is a pretty good sampler that I think a lot of people, uh, you know, don't really uh, talk about too much. I don't know why. Uh, it's a really, I think a lot of Contact already comes with a lot of good samples that you can use uh and, and effects and plug in as you can see i have tons of stuff over here but let's try the same uh idea of the pros and cons of contact here uh i think one of the pros is contact is very simple you just drag and drop uh your sample in i mean it's <laughs> easy like that you know you can yeah we go no yeah we you know you can easily just tune it right here so if you just have a quick sample that's very easy and guys and just like uh if i wanted to do my ex24 i had to go and use all these steps to save well with the contact i don't have to do that i can just close out and boom it's saved so when i pull up my session you know everything is still there so that's a real good thing with contact um another pro with contact is you can has actually a lot of really good editing features um, and I'll show you guys how to do some of these editing things. Maybe you knew how to do it. Maybe you'll learn some new things here. And if you are learning some things and you appreciate this video, please take the time to subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate that. It helps the channel out a lot. Uh, but yeah, some of the editing things here. Uh, let's start up here. Once again, you can tune. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we go. Uh, so this is just another way to tune. Uh, you can go right over here, uh, to your wave edit and there we go no nah. you know you can adjust uh, if i want to do a loop or something if you just there we go no nah. uh you know there we go no nah. come back around and loop again let's see there we go no nah. yeah so i'm just holding there down we go no nah. i'm just holding down that button so it's looping on its own so you can turn that off uh a lot of cool stuff to hear here doing here uh since uh sync up you know you can slice zone envelopes i mean this is a whole nother tutorial on how to get into it i just want you guys to know what you can do uh with that you know you have another good thing right here is the source uh a pretty good tool uh you know you should look into if you're using the contact right here you can go to choose you know the the old mpc there we go now. there we go. sorry not mpc the s12 there we go it gets like a different sound it's a little bit more distorted you can hear it there we go no versus uh let's just say the mp there we go no all right you know so each there we go. this is you know they give out different tones there we go there we go no you know, you can just time stretch right here. Uh, yeah, we go. 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 You know, so that's a very good feature. Uh, in there, you can also reverse. Uh, yeah, you know, so I can go in and actually edit. Just press your wave uh, editor. Let me just go in. And, let's see. Yeah, no, you know, so you can go in and do a lot of pretty cool st stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, right here, the tone machine. This is pretty cool, too. You know, you can actually uh, actually make chords out of that. So, we go you know, it's pretty cool. Here we go
So you could do all this in content. Once again, you can uh, tune it. There we go. And once you also you can go down here and mess with the uh, the release. There we go. There we go. You know uh, the sustain. If I want it to hold out a little bit longer, just turn the release back up. There we go. No night. You can see down here. There we go. No night. See, I let go, so I, I turn the release down, the sustain down. There we. There we. There we. There we. Maybe to hold if I want it. There we, there we. The tack if I want it to swell up a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so contact, once again, a very cool sampler uh, that you can use. I do think the cons with this one is, you know, it's not the fullest, fullest sound you're going to get. I think, you know, I think you lose a little bit sound quality. Uh, on these first two, the EX24 and the Contact. Just a hair. I think there's better samplers out there that kind of boost the sound and give it a little bit better sound. Uh, you know, Contact, it's easy to load in, but to go in and manipulate, you know, time stretch sometimes to line the sample up uh, is very time consuming sometimes. But I like it because you can go in and actually edit the sample, uh, you know, once you get in here by going in your, your wave edit uh, and your mapping tools right here you know you can go in and load multiple samples if i want another sample you know it's just all type of cool stuff you do you can do here another con is with the uh contact you have to have a wave sample once you dra drag and drop it in you can't drop a mp3 file in here so just keep that in mind all right let's move on to another one and that is uh our serato sample uh this is one that I'm recently just kind of getting into the last few weeks or so. I know it's been on the market for a while. I actually uh, tried it out when it first came out, did the little trial. trial. I think it was a 30-day trial or a few weeks or something, and I, I enjoyed it, but I never circled back around to it till uh, recently. And, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. I like this one. It, it First of all, to me, this one, uh, I don't know if it stemmed because of the DJ. You know, you have Serato, uh, but... The sound quality, I think this is probably one of the better uh, plugins that it's going to give you a really full uh, sound quality uh, outside of uh, Contact and the EX24. Uh, it's easy to install. Uh, you can see here, uh, you know, I like it because... Feels right when it's wrong, I've stated... Look at that, hear the sound quality. Feels right when it's wrong, I've stated too long, but something brings me back... You know, just and, and the feel. Feels right, feels right, feels right, feels, feels right. It really feels like you're sampling. You know, a little feels bit. Right, feels right when it's wrong. A little bit better than some of the other ones. Um, but yeah, so using this one, uh, some of the options uh, that you you have is, you know, you can go in and it will actually find some of the samples for you. You can press samples, uh, find samples. Uh, let's see, let's set to random, and it'll randomly. But something brings me. Go in and set I swear we be back, be back for some random samples for you, which is kind of cool. Like you said, if you just want to quickly come in and throw in a song or a sample, just press that set random. For something, bring me back to me, be back to you. Uh, one of the other cool things you could go in and manipulate um, the sounds pretty quickly. I can do one at a time by you know pressing on it and you know do my key shift, or I can select all and change the every sample be back. Uh, so it's changing all the samples uh to that pitch uh one of the other cool things you could do is time stretch but something brings me back but something brings but something but something but something but something brings me but something you know uh oh sorry i was doing one percent so you couldn't tell that much but i can have that um down 50 percent for something you can go 100 percent or 75 song. you know i can speed it up something something brings me back to you something brings me back to you something brings me back to you you know this one's very cool it's very versatile uh let me delete all the settings that uh you can also go in here it has a good uh undo and redo function right here so i can go in and redo and undo uh, some of the functions that I might have set, might have set 
you know, just man, tons of tons of great uh, creativity just by playing around. And you can, you know, if you want to uh, do a poly play more than one uh, note at a time. For something. You know, you just want to reset your poly and mon uh, polyphonic and your mon mono uh, right here. So, man, man, I mean, tons of great options uh, right there in the, the Serato sample. And, you know, fav man, it's just so much. If I like this sample, uh, let's find the sample. If I like this sample, where, where it's chopped up, I can just press favorite and then say, say I like this one too. I can press favorite and then whatever I do, it'll favorite basically that setting. So I can do press random again. And you see those two stars, what I pressed, they save. So another good tool you can use. Uh, and guys, I, I'm kind of really rushing through a lot of these samplers just to give you an overall idea of maybe you know if you was looking hey i'm looking to sample some stuff what's best for me and guys i really think it just depends on your 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 touch and the sound and uh what song uh, that you're working on so hopefully this helps gives you an idea uh if you haven't caught up guys be sure to uh check out some of my other videos and tutorials uh right over here i talk about uh the keys method my podcast or vlog where I interview Grammy Award winning producers, en engineers, songwriters, artists, uh, and they give out tons of gems and uh, keys to success in today's music industry. And also check out plenty of tutorials right here as well. Hacks, tutorials, tricks, all type of stuff, more stuff what I'm doing right here to elevate your music production game. And uh, we want you to go out here and be successful. Uh, not only make tons of money and uh, make, you know, great great uh music but also have it uh and be sustainable longevity in this music game all right guys that's it be sure to uh do one thing stay creative all right peace